right, Pisces, welcome in. This is your reading for July. Uh, I'm doing this reading on the 2nd of July, and we have Neptune going retrograde in your sign of Pisces. Neptune is the ruling planet of Pisces. You probably know that since you have Pisces and you're watching this Pisces reading. <laughs> we also have Saturn going retrograde. I keep seeing the happy, happy card, by the way. Um, we also have Saturn retrograding in your sign of Pisces. So this says to me, Saturn going retrograde is about internal work. Okay. It's about internal work. Saturn is the tough love, the tough teacher, but this can be, this can be about you um, really aligning with what it's going to take. What's it going to take for me to, to get what I want in my life? What's it going to take? And, you know, we do that internal work. Uh, we are prepared to do that. Neptune going retrograde in Pisces also pulls back the curtain on any illusions. So some of you might be um, telling yourself uh, a rather fanciful story about a current situation and you're going to see the truth of it. Now, this is going to be over the course of four or five months. Uh, Neptune is going to stay retrograde in your sign of Pisces until December, early December. Saturn goes direct in mid-November. So this is very much a you looking internally um, in order to uh, get real. Okay, it's time to get real. And that's that is what's showing up here. Yeah. Come to the edge. Time to get real, Pisces. Whatever you're looking at, you're making up a story about it. Not for you. Yeah, I don't want this to be true. Unfinished sympathy, sympathy, hmm. unfinished symphony and higher power. Some of you are being asked to really release any kind of um, fantasy of control about a certain situation. I feel like you're telling yourself a story that is kind of wrapping you up in a riddle, uh, you know, kind of completely shielding yourself from some kind of truth that will set you free that will set you free, that the point of this whole exercise is to um, get on with it, all right, to get on with it. So when you see this truth or when you, when you align with that, when you're like, okay, things will move forward. And maybe, maybe it's completely different than how you expected it to look, but I think that's kind of the point because I feel like uh, some of you are manifesting from a place of, if not this, then nothing. If I don't get this, then nothing. And in, may I may I offer a suggestion that you say to the universe, you know, this is what I want, this or something better instead. To do that is to bring you into this alignment with higher power, alignment with where you're going. I almost feel like some of you have a, um, a fear of something not coming true in your life or not happening. And so there's been this kind of like standoff with the universe <laughs> that is going, I laugh because it's like, I feel like the universe is trying to bring you something better. And you're only, you're looking too small. Like the, you're looking at like such a small detail in a bigger story that it's not worthy of your energy. It, it's resistance energy. Okay. So let's see where the reading takes us. But this is going to require that you do something a little new wave, a little new age for yourself. I don't mean like spiritually new age, but it could be for some of you. I just feel like this is more about opposite George. Okay. If those fans of Seinfeld know what I'm talking about, that when George started doing the opposite thing of what he would normally do, which is his normal energy is to be anxious and controlling, uh, when he would just release and just be like kind of... Um, uh, what's the word kind of, um, magical and just being like, yeah, we're going to do this. Yeah. Okay. The opposite of what I would normally do. Things started opening up for him. And I, I kind of believe that that's what this is showing me here. King of cups. There you are. Wheel of fortune. Here's the moon. So I'm talking to, I see Cancerian energy. I see Jupiter, which is your original ruling planet. The moon, five of, wow, five of swords, devil energy. 
Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Sag, a Cancer. And there's a control battle going on here. All right, like the four of, look at this. Look at the crossed arms here. Oh my goodness, four of, look at this. This is like, it's ground to a halt. And energetically speaking, I feel like the universe is saying, there's no more forward progress with how you've been doing it in this situation. And I feel like the new moon in Cancer on July 5th, I will go deeper into the astrology in the extended, just so you know, to talk about what's happening, how it might relate to you. But this is a very loud message of destiny is moving you forward. And some, some part of you is holding on to a scenario that does need to change. In your mind, that means something bad, but that's not true. It's the opposite of that. It's something really, really good. It's like the universe is saying, well, you want this, but you're gonna have to let it be messy or let it, let it unfold the way it's gonna unfold. Because I just feel like you're like, oh, okay, it, change means something bad. I don't want that. I don't want um, there to be change, but I want this to come into my life, which inherently is change. Okay, so there's a mindset here that might not be the best thing for you. All right, so the Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, Queen of Cups. All right, King and Queen of Cups. We're deal dealing with something that you have on your heart right now. Some kind of confusion is causing some static. There's static on the line here between you and another person. There's not a clear signal or not a clear connection. Lovers, see Gemini energy, four of swords. This person is all about mental energy, Gemini, and then this knight of swords. You might be on the path of heart, they're on the path of head. But they're learning. They're learning that their mind, that what's going on in their head is not who they are. That's their personality. That's literally a hologram of their of their uh, personality. They're projecting out there into the world. It's not really who they are. And I feel like this person, this could also be you really opening up to meditation, recognizing that you don't you know, you can you are co-creating with the universe, but you got to let the universe in in. All right, so Sagittarius energy of temperance, more Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands. We've got all the Sagittarius cards here, Pisces. So I feel like you're learning some kind of lesson about the opposites, about releasing control. And some of you, um, you know, Pisces energy, you may, you're, you're a lot more things than just your sun sign or your moon sign, but moon energy is very important. If you're a Pisces moon, this feels deeper to me. This feels... Uh, like there is um, a resistance to change because I want it to look a certain way. If this is going to change, it's going to need to look this way. And I just feel like what's going to help here, it may not feel like it's going to help, but there's going to be some sort of uh, blow up or some sort of like massive upheaval of energy where it's like all control is lost or all like something else grabs your attention and you just like relinquish, you know, you're not focused on this anymore or the other person you're dealing with is not focused on this anymore. There's something bigger going on here. And that's ultimately the thing that brings you together with the path forward because the two of you or just you, if we're just talking about you, your masculine feminine, you are likely um, confused as to the road ahead. And so I'm going to try to micromanage it, which is so the opposite energy of you, Virgo, okay? So a little tip about surfing energy and using energy. The energy of Pisces is creativity and expansion and spiritual connectedness. If you, your opposite sign is Virgo. So they both have to do with spiritual healing coming from different places. Virgo is more the physical piece. Your intuition is in your body. OK, and so the um, Pisces is like, no, man, it's metaphysical. It's out here. And Virgo's like, no, it's in my body. There can be a, a manifestation negatively of Pisces energy, which is like completely untethered from reality. 
or the positive side of Pisces, positive side of you is being grounded in your intuition and recognizing you're co-creating with the universe, not trying to control anything, really surfing the cosmos, surfing the quantum field, being cool with how this is flowing, okay? And if there might be an unfinished uh, connection with another person that the higher power, and here's Archangel Michael here, trying to bring in. Not to finish it, but that's maybe your fear. That the universe is bringing this person back to you for like a final standoff or a, a final goodbye or something like that. And so there's like a resistance to that. Like, no, I don't want that. I want, um, I want what it, I want it to look like what I want. Here's the thing. This is going to unfold probably after the new moon in cancer. I would highly recommend that you align with your heart and release, you know, new moons are not about releasing where it's about planting the seeds of your heart and cancer. So there's something here that's very nurturing about letting go of control because I do see that there's going to be big changes here. And there may be some parts of that that feel messy, feel scary, feel like, oh my God, I'm not getting what I want. Oh my God. But I urge you to kind of just trust, trust that things are going to come right. And I feel like um, if you can do that, no matter what is showing up in your world, then you've got this whole surfing the universe, surfing the cosmos uh, aligning in the quantum field with manifestation, you've got that down. Because at first there's this like, no, 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 like not doing it. So what is this seven of cups here? I feel like there's a lot of different ways things can go. There's high priestess, your intuition. I really feel like you need to focus on getting in your body because that's where intuition lives. Empress, there's the divine feminine. Wow, look at all this divine feminine energy with the nine of cups and the fool. So, so we know that the divine feminine energy is about receiving, not the doing. Trust that the universe, no matter what it looks like, is putting you on this new path, okay? It's putting you on this new path. Um, this says to me that this was started off in June because I've got the lover's card here, Gemini. We're now into cancer energy, which is a trine to, uh, to you, Pisces. The trines, all the water signs trine each other. And that's a really lovely opportunity to kind of flow with things, water energy. High Priestess here is cancer also. So this says, this says to me that that's the, that's the path. Look at this. So there can be something about family or creating a family or something like that. Because um, look at this energy. This is Jupiter. So much baby energy here. So some of you may be uh, thinking about having a family or thinking about connecting with this person for purposes of traditional marriage. That's what the Empress is, Taurus and Libra. And um, that's what I want. So the kind, the thing to do is to kind of not, not focus on it, not focus on it. If that's your alignment, then it will come to you naturally. You don't need to be like, <clears throat> I want to manifest this, right? Like, cause I feel like that's what's going on. Why is the devil energy showing up here? I'm getting somebody is connected to a karmic. That's what's stopping this. Somebody, one of you, you may not even know this person right now, or some of you do, um, is connected to a karmic energy who's controlling this, who's trying to jam the signal. Yep, King of Swords, Ten of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. So this person who is on your path is with a karmic energy. They're being controlled and dominated, and they can't see the forest for the trees. They can't see the path forward. They've been in this for a really long time. It's like they're a hostage. It's time um, for you just to release that, release them, 
let him go. Even if you don't know who this person is, like I encourage you to do a manifestation of surrendering to the path of spiritual connectedness, 5D connectedness. And by that, I mean sort of you being connected to you. It's not about other, right? It's not about other. It's about you being connected to you. That's why meditation, choosing to meditate, choosing to align with meditative forces in your life, meaning you're recognizing that the stream of consciousness or the um, the path of thinking that get, goes down a rabbit hole that tries to control in terms of how it's going to look. It's like releasing that and just noticing. I'm noticing my thoughts. I'm noticing my thoughts. So that that is a, kind of like the mind is our personality. The mind is something that we um, create. It is not us. It is not our soul. Okay. And to align with soul is the path here. Um, I feel like this is going to take some twists and turns. All right. So we're going to go deeper into that. And I will, uh, I will also look at the astrology. So we'll get a little bit more concrete in terms of what the energies are going to be for July. And this can be like a whole year because J June, we've already gone through June. We're just in July. So this can be a full year cycle. There's something about Jupiter. All right, we'll get into that in the astrology. All right, link is below if you want to continue on. I will see you over there, Pisces. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.